Yeah, let's go. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, today, as always, and today I'm going to be predicting where the top 25 free agents will be landing at by, when it's all said and done. All right, I am recording this on March 2nd, so if some players have re signed, then my bad. Up first, we got Lamar Jackson. He stays in Baltimore. I think he's too valuable to that team. And if they can come to an agreement, they'll just end up tagging him for at least another season. I think he signs there. I He does not get walked. If he gets traded, that's a potential possibility. But he definitely signs with the Ravens. But I think they will end up coming to an agreement. Up next, we got Javon Hargrave. I think he stays at the Eagles. Amongst that Eagle O line, he is one of the O line, D line. He's one of the most important players of it. They, I mean, they were amazing last year, and I think they want to keep as many pieces as they can. I'm gonna see. Actually, this won't even matter because he has already been tagged. Deron Payne was tagged by the Commanders, so we'll move on. Oh, do I see Orlando Brown Jr. This is actually the first move. I think he's gonna go to the Chicago Bears. They have the cap space. That's no issue there. I think they can overpay Orlando Brown. I don't know how much the Chiefs want him. And I'm going to be honest, I don't think he's that good. But I think the Bears are going to give him a fat bag, just anything. Because they he's better than anything they have. Next, we have Geno Smith staying in Seattle. I think they probably they might draft a quarterback this draft, which wouldn't be a horrible idea. But keeping Geno Smith around, keeping that veteran presence. Especially since your team was good last year, there's no need to throw a quarterback in immediately. Geno is old. So you can draft a quarterback and keep Geno Smith. It's not a horrible idea. Unless you got Derek Carr, who I think is going to end up in as a Jet. Could also be a same, but I'm more confident in the Jets. I think that they are willing to just go all in on him. I think the Saints are going to be a bit ticky-tacky. They might be willing to run with Andy Dalton this season and just kind of tank it out. But, yeah, Derek Carr, you are going to be a New York Jet. I see got Jesse Bay to, I think he's going to go to Atlanta. His biggest problem is the Bengals do not have a history of giving guaranteed money, and I don't think that's going to change besides one per guy, and his name is Joe Burrow. Um, but Jesse Bates will not get that guaranteed money from the Bengals. He will get it from the Falcons, though. The Falcons need so much defensive help. It is not good. As well, and their secondary was very lackluster this season. I think Jesse Bates will add that presence that they desperately need. Next, we got James Bradbury. I think he stayed at the Eagles. He had one bad play in the Super Bowl. Oh my goodness, let him go. He was amazing for the Eagles all season. And I'm not going to let one play ruin his entire legacy with the Philadelphia Eagles. Next, we got Daniel Jones to get to the Giants. I don't think he's going to get the $45 million. I think he's going to get like $35 million. I think they will cut it down. I don't think he deserves 35. I think 25 mil is a good contract for Daniel Jones, but I think he's going to end up getting more. But I think the Giants are willing to keep him with his. He's got that dual threat ability, and he just took them to the playoffs and won them a playoff game. So I, uh, I think they'd be pretty happy to keep him. And following him is his teammate Saquon Barkley. They're going to tag one of these. I don't know which one yet. They're, they're going to tag one of these guys, though. Saquon, great running back. I mean, that's all I'm going to say. Great running back. Probably the best. Not even probably. The best player on the New York Giants. And they desperately need him. They're going to bring him back. I'm next to Josh Jacobs. And I think he's going to Miami. In my Dolphins video, if you haven't seen it, you should definitely watch it. Um, I had Josh Jacobs. I had the Dolphins getting Saquon. I don't think that's actually going to happen. Josh Jacobs, on the other hand, I think we will get him. Chris Greer has been very aggressive recently, especially on the offensive side of the ball in terms of making moves. I don't think Josh Jacobs is going to be any exception. I think he's going to see that. We desperately need a running back badly. So I think he's going to see Josh Jacobs. He's going to see the season he just had. And I think Chris Greer is going to go out and get him. And Mike McDaniel is going to find a way to utilize him in that offense. I if you got Chauncey Gardner Johnson going to the Bears. You're going to see the Bears a lot. Once again, it's that whole cap space thing. The Bears have the ability to overpay all these players, and they got to take the Jags approach. They got to overpay players for them to want to come. I think the Bears are going to do that. Chauncey's a great player, and he he's a I can't speak. He's a great player, and the Bears need secondary help besides Eddie Jackson. Obviously, they have some decent play. They have some young pieces that like Jaqu Jaquan Brisker, 
But Eddie Jackson has injury problems, and I think that they're going to leap on Chauncey. I actually got Mike McGlinchey, and I also think he's going to go to the Bears. This is a guy I want to come to Miami. But, once again, I think the Bears can overpay him. Going after two tackles in one offseason is not a horrible idea for Chicago. you got to protect Justin Fields. Your own, the O-line was horrible last year. So you gotta get you got to get him some help, and Mike McGlinchey going to the Bears makes so much sense. Next, you got Jamel Dean. Now, this is my weird pick. Jamel Dean to the Vikings. I feel like the Vikings would be willing to pay a little much for him, and they need him badly. That defense was so bad last year. They need a guy with playoff experience who is a veteran. Not too young, though, but not too old. Their defense is very old. I think Jamel Dean will add a bit of youth to that, and he's a very good corner, so I think the Vikings go out and leap for Jamel Dean. Next, you got Levante David. I think he saves the Bucks. You know, just he's he's a longtime Buck. I think he just remains their veteran player. Loves it there. Next, you got Dalvin Thomas. I think he can go to the Raiders. The Raiders are bad on defense. They're gonna have to add some players, and they're gonna absolutely be in a collapse next season. I feel like everything's about to go wrong in every single way. But hey, they can get Dalvin Tomlinson. Next, you got Tony Pollard. I think the Cowboys are just gonna end up tagging him. The injury is a bit concerning, but, 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 but I think he's just going to remain in Dallas. I think they're going to tag him, see how he does when he comes back, and then they'll go from there on how they're going to approach the long term. Next, you got Draymond Jones. He's going to stay in Denver. Denver wants to keep that defense, that defense, that offense. They probably wouldn't mind letting anyone from it walk, but they want to keep that defense attack that was very good. Draymond Jones was a huge part of that. So, they're going to want to keep him. Next, you got Dalton Schultz going to the Jets. It's a weird pick, but I think the Jets, especially if they're going to go out and get a new quarterback, he's going to need some weapons besides Garrett Wilson. They did try getting CJ Uzama last season, but I don't think he's all that. I think any guy like Dalton Schultz would be a huge addition for the Jets. Next, you got Jimmy G, and I think he's going to go to the Bucks. I don't know how the Bucks are going to do this, but they always do. And they find a way to get the cap space. They find a way to get the cap space in their favor, and then they're going to pay Jimmy G. He's going to be a tad bit expensive, but I think they're going to, because I think the Bucks still see themselves as contenders if they just have a quarterback. They're not. And this is going to be the start of their very, very bad downfall, because I don't think Jimmy G will be able to take them to the playoffs. Next we have Marcus Diamondport. He's going to stay at the Saints. Huge player. He's still, got, he's still young. He's, about, he's basically in his prime. Don't let him walk in New Orleans. Next, you got Nanik, Yannick Dengakwe. I think he's going to stay in Indianapolis. Yeah, Indy, great on... Indy, I am not 100% sure, but they should be great on cast base. I mean, I guess Quentin Nelson and Jaquiel Leonard. I think they should be pretty good on cast base. I think they can pay him. And they need to build that team, and it's not looking good for them. Next, you got Odell Beckham Jr. Enough of the speculation, enough of the rumors. He's going to Dallas. I think he would have if he was healthy. But now that he's going to have a full off season of a full season and off season of recovery. I think he will finally be a Dallas Cowboy. Up next, sorry. I'm next. We got Mike Gesicki. I think he's going to go to the Bears. Um, they really need offensive weapons. I know they have Cole Komet, but this receiver class is so weak, both on the draft side and on the um and the free agency. There is, if you notice, I haven't named a single receiver yet. It's not great. There is one on this list. But Mike Kosicki, I think, as much as I want him to resound in Miami, I don't think he will. He is a big target for Justin Fields to throw to. I think he'll just make the, that attack just a little bit better. Look at how Trevor Lawrence did when they added Evan Ingram. And finally, then off the list, we got Juju Smith-Schuster. Right, this is the final one. Good. We got Juju Smith-Schuster be, becoming a New York Giant. They need him. And something about him in a giant uniform just makes so much sense for some reason. You get what I mean? Just something you could see. I think that he... I think that the Giants, they desperately need a receiver. I mean, that was their weakest part of their team. And I think they're going to go out and get him. So yeah, that's where I think the top 25 free agents are going to land. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and notification bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.